Okay, the time has come. Now we're going to embed Zoom videos into Canvas. Now you remember I talked to you about embed code and how you can go to different websites and get that embed code. And I briefly talked about how in Canvas you can use this embed tool or the insert media tool to then put in the embed code. Now what I didn't tell you in that last video is that you can also get to the embed code view by simply clicking on this HTML editor. You see there are two views. There's the what you see is what you get view. In other words, you see bold, you get bold. But there's also the HTML view. And a lot of people are afraid of this view because it has that code. Now again, you don't have to know anything about embed code to be able to copy and paste embed code. For example, if you copied that embed code from a website, you could come back into Canvas and go into the HTML and then just paste that embed code right in here. And then it would play once you went back to the what you see is what you get view. Now, this is where Zoom videos for some people are gonna get tricky, but you'll notice here in this particular page that I have that I've created a page that has an embedded Zoom video. Not only that, but I created a copy of this and put it in the Canvas Commons for any of you to see. Uh, over in this browser, I'm, I'm logged in as my wife. Uh, my wife was kind enough to log in and let me uh, see what it would look like. So these are her NSE courses, but she can go to the Commons and she can copy, she just go up here and type in James May, right? And then right here is how to embed Zoom video. She can click on this, right? watch the training video, she can download and import this to any one of her courses. And once you take this same page and download it to one of your courses, it's gonna look like this in your course. Now, all you have to do is come in and edit it. Now, to edit it, what you're gonna need to do is first you're gonna need to get your link. Do you remember sharing your Zoom recording link earlier? What we did is we went to Zoom Global and we looked for the recording we wanted. I've been using the recording on the phone, and there was the copy the shared link. Well, once I copy that link, so I'm just clicking on that and I've copied it, I can now come back to this page that I got from the comments. But instead of looking at this view, I'm gonna go into the HTML editor view and I see all this scary, scary code stuff. But what I'm looking for is this right here where it says source and then it starts a quotation mark and it has an entire link. Do you see this link? That is the link to my Zoom video. If I take that link that I got from my phone recording and I overwrite it, in other words, I highlight it and paste that link in there. Now when I click back to the rich content editor, notice what happens. Now the Zoom video, do you remember that Zoom video from earlier today? It was the Zoom video that I made with my phone. Well now in my page, I've embedded that Zoom video. And if I want to change it and add a different Zoom video, all I have to do is go in again, go back to my recordings, find the recording I'd like to add. So for example, maybe I'll do this demo instructional video, copy the link, go in, edit the HTML, find where it says that word source, see where it says iframe source, and then from the HTTPS all the way to the end where the quote stops, paste in that new code, Go back to the rich content editor and notice that the embedded video has changed again. And so what happens is, is you can change this, but it's better than that. Because once you have this code, once you import this code into your course, you can copy and paste all of the stuff in this page and then open up a quiz. And in the quiz, let's go ahead and open up a classic quiz. And in the quiz, I have this same editor. So if I paste this content, that means now I can write instructions to my students, make a training video for them that they'll watch in the instructions and then ask them questions about what they were learning. So will I know if they watched my video? Absolutely. Another thing I could do is I could click on the home page and go to my home page. Let's go ahead and do that. And in my home page, I can make a welcome video. For example, I can click in the welcome video area and add that same code. And now I've got an embedded Zoom. Again, it's all about having that code. And once you have the code, you can edit that code 
and put in any of your Zoom links to embed Zoom in your courses.